Hi, welcome back to Bars to Lights. In this video, I want to present Wrong Chemistry. This is probably the first abstract game that I've shown on the channel. I'm calling it abstract. When you get into gameplay, you'll, you'll see why. But it's great for, for the family. It's, it plays quickly. You can play lots of games in one evening. It's published by Mage Company and designed by Tony Semino. It plays two to four. I'm going to demonstrate this just playing single player. Uh, it comes in a relatively small box. It's component light uh, and there is an expansion here, Expand Your Lab, which I'm going to show you at the end of the film. The idea of the game is to score more victory points than your opponent by creating these elements. Each of these cards has a depiction of an element. This is the, the element. These hex tiles can move around and these white and black molecules can move around and the idea is that as you play you score points by creating these elements on the cards. Okay, You'll have a hand of these at the start of the game. There's some extra, um, I like to call these molecules, they, they just refer to them as white and black discs in the rule. There's, uh, there's one black and two white in addition to the ones you see during the setup here. Um, and each player starts the game with four cards. To determine the first player, each player chooses a card from their hand. Um, let's say I choose this one here. And then another player chooses this one. The player with the lowest number here, this is like the reference number for the, the periodic table <laughs> of, of these make-believe elements. Like this one's called Brawl Mine. This one's called Chlorine. Okay, so they've kind of made up these little element names. Whoever has the lowest number here gets to go first. And you just discard these into a discard pile and draw back up to four cards. Now, on your turn, you have what's called four energy. The energy is like an action, right? So you can take four actions. And remember, you've got to try and build the things in your hand. Well, I've got some complicated ones to start me off. But the actions you can take are really straightforward and they're described in the back of the rule book. So one thing you can do is take a white or black element um, or one of these molecules off the element. You can add a white or black molecule onto the element. You can move a white or move a black. You can move one of the hexes that make up the molecule. Or you can throw away a card from your hand. And when you're playing normally, the game will continue. You'll play cards in your hand and then you draw back up to four cards at the end of your turn and then the play moves to the next player. Remember, four energy points each. The, um, the game ends when this deck runs out, when you've got a draw and there's, this deck's empty. Okay. And all the time you're trying to build these elements in your hand and score victory points. Now the little solo variant I play is I just discard the card with the lowest element number from my hand, which in this case was 35. Um, and then I take out 24 cards from the deck. To give me a big discard pile. And that should leave 23 cards in the draw deck. Um, and then just play out until um, until this runs out. And the idea get being just try and get the high score you can. Okay. Obviously, playing normal rules, playing multiplayer, it's a full deck. You play until the deck runs out. Player with the highest score at the end wins. Now, the beauty of the multiplayer and why this is <laughs> is good fun is because as you're trying to build something, your opponent's also trying to build something. So you're like trying to take your four actions. So, for example, let's say I want to try and build this this teen element. Um, we need, so if I put it like this way round, orientation doesn't matter, right? So it doesn't really matter which way round, as long as the element matches. I've got three white ones here already in place. I need to get this one. So if I take an action to remove this, this black disc here, that's one energy, then I can move this up here, that's two. And if I move that over there, that's three. We're nearly there. I need to get this one off. That's four. Now, of course, what's going to happen now is that my opponents 
would be taking their turn. You know, obviously I'm looking to do something like this next time. Move that over here, put a black one on here and score this teen molecule. But the problem is that you know I've left the board like this. My opponent's now going to have their turn and they're going to be moving stuff around as well. So that's really the fun of the game. Alright, so let's see now. Um, I don't have any cards to draw. But for the solo variant, just discard a card. All right, so to make sure we're ticking through that deck all the time. Now I can complete this this team molecule. So what I'll do is move this over here. One action. Place this one down on my second action, and now I've made this molecule. And I can lay this down in front of me and score this card. All right, so I'll place this over here and say we've scored it. That's worth two victory points to me. Before we move on, there's a couple of cards here that all players can use. Extramuvium and Restartium. Now Restartium can only be used once, and what I like to do, that's once per turn, is just kind of turn it sideways once you've used it. And Restartium will put the board right back to its configuration state, and that's <laughs> really horrible when you're playing multiplayer, and someone does that when you're, you're so close to building your molecule. So uh, yeah, it can generate quite a few laughs when that happens. The other thing that, that's here is the extra movium. Now extra movium is going to give you three more energy. You, can, you don't. This is not limited to just once per, per turn. You can use this as many times as you like. And all you have to do to get those extra three energy, maybe at each turn you have four, you can boost up to seven, so it gives you seven actions on your turn, is discard one of your already made molecules. So that would then give me an, an additional three actions for this turn. And that's really cool if you think that you can you know, net of some more molecules from your hand, you can earn some of these um, that have a higher value. There's these green ones which are only worth one. So these are these are kind of a fodder for getting extra movium working, giving you extra actions and being able to complete that complicated molecule before another player comes in and resets the board or moves things around. Okay? So look out for those, try and use them and Understanding when to leverage extra movium and restartium to maximise the benefits of your hand is where a great deal of strategy can, can, can come in. Because that's the, the part that, you, that allows you to control what's going on on the board, right? These are so important. So let's use one of my energy, I've got two left remember for this turn, to play restartium. So all I do is just reset everything back. And that's cost me one energy. I've got one energy left. Now, if I wanted to use extra movium, that doesn't cost energy to move. You just discard one of your claimed molecules, one that you've already built, and you immediately get those three. All right? It doesn't cost any energy. Do that as many times as you like. But now that might be a little bit easier to move. I've got um, one action left. Yeah, let's take that off. And that ends my turn. So I draw back up and then discard one for the solo variant. Resets Restartium. OK, we've got Baron now <laughs> instead of Baron. This kind of... And I could make that one uh, quickly. It might be wise because it gives me a few more... I, you know, I can immediately re extra movie in it. So let's do that. Let's. Um, I've got four left, so let's do one, two, Claim this. Um, I've got two actions left. I'm going to use extra movium, get rid of this. That gives me five actions. And that should allow me to do this now. We'll go one, two, uh, three, four, five. Yeah, that's taking me a bit close to that. Draw back up and then discard. And yeah, I should be able to complete this one now. One action. That's this one done. That's five points. Now you've got to figure out, you know, what's what's quicker now to use restartium or try to move stuff. The other thing to remember when you're moving stuff, you can't kind of do this and leave things hanging, alright? I 
I've noticed there's quite a lot of synergy here between these shapes. So that's quite a good a good draw. I might use Restartium and get things back how they were. I've got three actions left. Let's use Restartium. That's two actions left. Get these back in place. So I've got two actions left. Let's get rid of these. Draw back up and discard. Reset. So let's move that into the middle. That's one action. Let's move that around here. That's two. Move this one here. That's three. And I think that's got this one. Yeah. One more action left. It's going to be discard this. All right. Draw back up and I'll discard one. Well, I'm going to keep keep playing through until I get to the end, and then I'll come back and show you my score, and then introduce you to the expansion. That'll do it. Alright, welcome back. I've just finished and we've got 2, 5, 8, 9, 12, 14, 17, 22, 22 points. There we go. That's your target to try and beat. Um, I just ended my turn by, by drawing up and there wasn't anything to discard so that ended the game. Right, that's wrong chemistry. That's my <laughs> solo variant. Do check it out for two to four because there's so much fun to be had by, you know, moving stuff around and uh, scuppering your opponents. It's it's good fun. It plays really quickly. I mean, that was what uh, ten fifteen minutes. And then have a look at the expansion as well. So this is expand your lab the small box. It adds a fifth player, which is always good. And the other things that come with it. Well, let's start with the the basic updates to the existing rules. You now if you look at some of these cards, what you'll see, you've got a whole ton of elements. But you'll notice some of them have a, a white tile, and I think that's really neat, so, because it makes use of the existing components. If you flip over one of these tiles, you can see it's white on the other side. Maybe they knew this before they uh, released the initial game, but there you go. It adds a new dimension, so you can flip an empty tile to get one of these white hexes. Well, Ambroctium here is one of five new black elements. These are worth five victory points, and they begin the game not in any player's hand, but at the side of the board. So if you can manage to create these, they're kind of one-time things that you can grab. There's also a couple of new blue cards that you can use. These are as well as Extramovium and Restartium. So Transmutium is kind of like Restartium but this time what you do if you take this action is, and again it's once per turn, you can turn instead of back to the starting configuration of Restartium you can turn the molecule back to one that you've already scored. And then Element of Surprise. Now, element of Surprise is interesting because it makes use of these new scientist cards. At the start of the game you'll get randomly given two and you can choose one of the two that you wish to become. Now, your scientist can, as well as having a special action, which I'll come to in a moment, can take the Element of Surprise. Um, and what that means is at the end of another player's turn you get to use two actions and you have to declare this at the end of, a, of another player's turn and then place one of these noble tokens on your card and you can do this up to three times as soon as you've got three of these noble tokens then your scientist can no longer be used he's, he's overworked if you like alright so there's this element of surprise that you can take two actions um, the other thing you can do by placing a noble is the scientist special so in this case you can see that for one Noble, he can place a black disc on one of these grey hexes. And the good thing about these specials is they're, they're what's called free energies. This doesn't cost you one of your four energies that you get per turn. Okay, so you can do this for free up to three times. Alright, 
and what you're going to find is a lot of these specials are geared towards you know aiming for these one of these five black elements because they involve a lot of these grey hexes it's worth checking out apart from that you get a you get a huge stack of new base elements so there's plenty plenty of variety and replayability in this game That's Wrong Chemistry. I hope you enjoyed this introduction and solo variant presentation. Go check it out. It's worth a look.